Hey what's going on guys today I'm gonna show you how to take an inner section inside an inner section in Elementor. So by following this method you can take an unlimited nesting of inner section and you are also able to make some more complex and creative layouts like this. So before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more secret tips about Elementor. Alright, so this is our blank Elementor page. So inside this page, first of all, we want to take an inner section. So I drag this into this place. So this is our inner section and inside this left column of this inner section, I want to add another inner section inside that. So if I want to drag this, you can see this doesn't insert it inside this column. But if I want to insert this outside of this inner section, this will work properly. So basically we cannot create an inner section inside an inner section like that. So how can we do that? First of all I want to delete this one and we need to copy the parent column of this inner section. So this is our inner section and this is the parent column of this. So I want to copy this and paste this inside this inner section. Okay you can see. Right now we are able to take an inner section inside an inner section. So here we don't want this extra column. We want to delete that. And you can also do that inside this column. If I also copy this one from here and paste this inside this inner section. Okay, you can see this is an inner section inside an inner section inside an inner section, which is cool. Okay, I want to delete this one again. And here if you want you can also go further more. So right now if I paste inside this one you can see this is another inner section. Okay I want to delete this one and I can also go further more. Okay you can see this looks insane and looks really funny. I think you don't need to go this level of inner section for any kind of your design. But right here I just want to show you how can you take an unlimited level of inner section inside Elementor which is basically not possible by only dragging this inner section. Okay right now I want to delete this one and want to show you some real life example how can we use that. So right now I want to create this layout by using our nested inner section. So here it is basically main two columns. This is our left column and this is our right column. And in this right column we take two inner section. This is our first inner section and this is our second inner section. And in the first inner section we take two columns. This is our right column and this is our left column. And in the left column we take an image right here and also a nested inner section and also place two images inside this inner section. Okay? And for this second inner section, we will take two columns and also place images inside this. So let's see how can we create that. I will go to my page and first of all here I want to take a two column layout from here. And here if you want you can also create this two column layout by using inner section right here. Okay so first of all I want to make this first column a little bit smaller. I want to make it to around 40%. I go to the column settings and make it to 40. So inside this first column I want to take a countdown and call to action widget. So we have already made this inside an another template. So I want to copy this from here and paste it right here. Also this. Alright. So after this in the second column first of all I want to take an inner section. So I drag it to this place and from here I copy this parent column and paste it inside here. Okay from here I delete this one. Then we take our second inner section from here. So let's add some images inside our column. So first of all I search for a call to action widget. So for this call to action widget, we don't want any of this text. So we need to remove this from here. Okay. Then you go to this image option and choose the skin to cover. And also select this image from here. Okay. You can see this image doesn't show in here. 
so we need to choose the graphic element to this one and delete this above image from here so after that I go to style and set a height for this image I want to set it to 165 pixel okay we don't want this overlay effect so we go to hover effect and choose the hover animation to none and also for this hover state choose the overlay color to fully transparent okay so I copy this one and paste it right here change its image from here and after that we will take an image underneath this so I duplicate this one and place it right inside this place okay then I again copy this one and paste it right here and also change these images we have placed all the content inside of our structure now we need a little bit of adjustment to make this look better so if you go to any of these columns right here you can see each of these columns have some padding around that so first of all we need to remove this padding from here And here for this inner section, you can see here is a little bit of margin. We also don't want that, so we remove that from here. Go to its advanced settings, make the margin to zero. And here also for this one, we make the margin to zero. Okay, and right now let's add some little bit of margin above this section. And here you can see this section and column control looks really messy and its overlap above each other so here if you want to modify an specific level of column or inner section it's really very hard to do so for this you need to go to this navigator mode from here and from here you can see all of these things in an hierarchical view and from here you can see all the columns from here all the inner section and also can select all this layer by clicking here like that okay so right now I want to go to my sections and add some margin from here. Okay, so right now I want to add a little bit of gap between all of these images. So if I go to this widget settings and go to its advanced and we will set its padding from here to 2 pixel. Okay, so I want to apply this style for all of these. So I copy this style from here and paste this style for all of these. So after that I want to make this image a square size so I go to its style settings and increase its height a little bit to 315 pixel and also want to adjust this height with the left column okay and here for this bottom inner section I want to make this column a little bit bigger okay let's make it to 75 percent that looks great all right okay then we need to adjust our left column so first of all i go to the left column settings and make its padding to 2 pixel then let's add some little bit of padding for this countdown widget so i click on this edit icon and go to its advanced tab and make its padding to okay 25 pixel but not for the left and right and here I don't want this gap so I put some negative margin for its bottom okay so lastly we need to make this call to actions height to adjust with this one so we go to its style settings and increase its height to okay so if you click update preview our page you can see we can create this kind of cool amazing masonry section by using our nested elementary inner section so you can see how easily we can create this kind of feature section by only using these simple tricks so here underneath this section we have also created an image gallery by using this nested inner section 
so here in this case we also take and two column section this is our first column and on the right side this is our second column and in this column as before we will take two intersection this is our first intersection and this is our second intersection so in this first intersection we will take three columns and in the second intersection we will take two columns this is our first column and this is our second column so in this column here we take an image and here is also a nested intersection so basically here we can see that when we take more nested intersection we can get more freedom over our layouts and for this we are able to make more awesome section only by using this simple technique all right so that's it for today hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you think if you have learned at least something new that's a big glad to me thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my very next tutorial